We all get back pain from time to time. It's just part of being human, walking upright and getting older. For most of us though, it just lasts for a few days and then we get better until the next time. Lots of studies have shown that about a quarter of the population will have back pain lasting for a day or more in the last month. The numbers get bigger as we get older. Lots of these people will also have a painful arthritic hip as well. Often the two conditions make each other worse. It's not surprising really because our spines, joints, muscles and soft tissues all work together to keep us upright, mobile and stable. I know a bit about backs. I was a spinal research fellow in Adelaide a long time ago, working for an amazing group of spinal surgeons. My job was to operate on sheep spines, looking at how some spinal operations affected the intervertebral disc. It was fascinating. I nearly became a spinal surgeon, but my passion really was for the hip joint. What happens though if you have a bad back and you need a hip replacement? It's a question I get asked a lot, so keep watching and I'll tell you all about it. Easy go, connect them, dry bones, easy go, connect them, dry bones, easy go, connect them, dry bones, now hear the word of the Lord. If your hip is stiff and painful, it makes you limp and puts strain on your spine and other joints. If you already suffer from back pain, it can often get worse. When you have a hip replacement, this changes your posture and your gait, the way you walk. This quite sudden change can often make back pain worse for a while, but in my experience as a hip surgeon for 25 years, it usually gets better after a few months. It was good to see my experience corroborated by a recent study from the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. They looked at 500 patients who had hip replacement surgery. Over 40% of them also had back pain before the surgery. The patients were followed up for a couple of years, the good news is that the back pain went away in over 80% of the patients a year after their hip surgery. And this went up to 90% at two years. So if you've got a bad back and you're worried that a hip replacement might make things worse, this study is very reassuring. What happens though if you're one of the small number of people whose symptoms don't improve or even get worse? Well, I'll make a thorough assessment of you to find out where the pain is coming from. It might not be from your back. We might get an MRI scan of the spine to see if there's evidence of a slipped disc or narrowing of the nerve canals. Depending on the diagnosis, I'll ask a spinal surgeon colleague to have a look at you. Some people might have to have injections or even surgery to help them, but as often as not, things do settle down eventually. As with everything in medicine and surgery, prevention is often better than cure. When I see someone who's thinking about having hip surgery, I do a really thorough clinical assessment if you have back trouble, we'll discuss this and how it might affect your recovery. I might suggest that you have other investigations, including a CT scan or an MRI scan, so that we can plan your surgery in great detail and do what's right for you. The optimised positioning system is something that I use in many of these cases. I hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think and leave any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.